Hello everybody, it's Terracon4 here, this time with an update on the hover controller. Been a while since I've really done much with it, but I ended up coming out with a somewhat noticeable update this time around. That update being... Here's a new demo actor, sticky surface hover. Pretty much it means that you can be attached to certain surfaces. In this case there is a I just used an arrow, it doesn't matter what it is, as long as it's a scene component. Hover source mid, it's pretty much just like these other arrows, except I stuck it here. You can also put hover source underscore front and underscore rear, and place the front one a bit forward and the rear one a bit backwards, so that if you're moving forward or backwards it can trace from those instead. And here you will see, there's the little variables for controlling these, the distances for checking, some gravity to use if this mode is enabled and a bunch of vectors which you can set up, which pretty much currently says it will first look down, then down to the right, then down to the left at the slight angle, and such and such before looking above, and eventually looking in front and looking behind. So you can add these specific for each of the different modes if you want one, or just use the mid-surface. Either way, so with this, it will look for surfaces around it that have a certain trace channel, and if you also set to require a certain surface type, and the result is, let's see, currently tap 3 to go over to this new actor. The little red arrow there shows its current downward direction, which it's attached to. And as you can see, you adhere to a surface. And there are also some fun things, like if you just jump up, here, it's focused on the surface which is you're already attached to, and it'll also normally focus on what's below you over those above you anyway, because I had them in that vector list set up to first search down. But I also had a nice option which can prioritize things in a direction, so right now if I shift jump, then it will prioritize ones above me and over ones below me, which means it'll be more likely to flip up to another surface in the direction you're jumping to, which I figured would be useful. And yep, as you can see, it can, as a result of this, stick on to something from pretty much any direction. There are, if you go too fast on the surface right now without increasing the um, auto rotation values, then it is possible to effectively run off of the surface, kind of like you're starting to see here, <laughs> where it doesn't quite turn in sharply enough. I've been trying to think of a good answer to make something that can automatically solve that, but I haven't figured that one out yet, so I figured I'll just send that as an update that everyone can mess with and enjoy, and if I do figure it out, then I'll send out an update with that fixed. If not, then for now, you can happily enjoy being able to make your hover actors stick to various surfaces. Alright, so, the basics of what this is. Pretty much in order to make something work as a sticky surface, you want to go down into its collisions, and you can use a hover surface, a type of physical material which is set to the desired surface if you want to require one. Uh, right now with the demo actor I'm not requiring them, but the main thing it needs is you'll need a trace response channel which these things will block, and then it will stick to those. However, the idea is that you can also require it to have the surface type, so that rather than just sticking... Because imagine if this cube is a giant pyramid, and the mesh went underground a bit, and you were going over the surface. Suddenly, even though the pyramid's underground you, but you think you're still over this, your actor would suddenly orient, because it can see straight through the ground on that trace. But if you do something like this, then you can still have the ground surface block that channel, but it still won't actually attach to the ground surface and you'll act like normal gravity here, if that's how you want it to be. And then it would only be able to stick to the big pyramid structure once it's actually visibly beneath you. So, a few little options like that, but overall it's pretty simple in order to make it so that you can stick to stuff. And it's been some fun messing around with it. Um, event graph. Yeah, here's the make actor jump. Uh, first of all, you'll notice there's 
two new options on the jump here relative to actor. This means that instead of just jumping up in the world's z-axis, it will now jump up on the actor's z-axis. And invert sticky z-axis duration pretty much means that any searches will now focus on the opposite from your current down. So if you're jumping up, which is the case currently with jump, then it will prioritize any search axes above you and multiply any below you by, well, originally it was multiplied by zero, but then I made a method where it has a priority system, so if there's still nothing above you, it will still stick to the stuff below you, but yeah. So pretty much that's the main little node, and then you've got a couple different options here. If you need to, in the, if you want to enable it, you do need to enable this and stuff. For the most part, that's it. If you don't enable this, everything's pretty much the same as it was before, so any existing hover assets should keep working like that, or as long as you don't go and enable this. Well, for the most part, it acts pretty similar to how it did if you enable this. There are, because it has to start messing with artificial gravity, it does change how a few parts of the controller worked, which can result in a few slight... Like, if your actor used to hover at a certain height with the same settings and behave in just a certain way, that will probably behave slightly differently while using this mode because it's simulating stuff in its slightly different approach. But it's not too big of a difference, and if you do decide to enable this, then you can usually mess around with that a bit anyway. And yeah, things like the orient on sticky surface, if you are on a surface that you're sticking to, then you'll want the actor to orient to it more quickly, most likely, than just cruising over random ground. So, a few options like this. Either way, hope you all enjoy, because somewhat fun to make and mess around with. And this update should be, as of the time this video is up, the update will probably be hopefully coming out within a day or two. It should be uploaded around the same time, but usually takes a day or so for things to get onto the Unreal Marketplace servers. So, have a good one. Enjoy.